we are going to the fourth question in the series. This is a very important rearrangement among the nitrogen containing compound, organic nitrogen compound. This is not relating to an amine, but this relates to an amide. Question asked is what is meant by or explain what is meant by Hoffman rearrangement. So, obviously, it is a rearrangement reaction. Some rearrangement occurs, some rearrangement, regrouping of atoms, one bond breaks and then it migrates to some other. It depends on the migration of some group from the molecule, from one end of the molecule to another part of the molecule. So, that is what is known as a Hoffman rearrangement. We will illustrate it by means of an example. As for example, you start with benzamide. We will take a specific and typical example, which is known as benzamide. This is known as C6H5CONH2 is benzamide. Now, in this reacts with bromine in the presence of alkali, sodium hydroxide. It can be in the presence of sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide, but it reacts with bromine in the presence of potassium hydroxide. And uh, actually, it can be given in the form of a regular equation. Then we will start explaining the uh, mechanism of this reaction. This can be treated with bromine. And then the presence of alkali 4 KOH, I will give the complete equation so that uh, we can discuss the mechanism of this reaction later. This will give rise to amines. We start with one carbon extra, that one carbon is lost in the process here. This amine gets directly attached to the phenyl ring. So, you get this is an amide and undergoing a degradation. Therefore, it is known as half one degradation or half one rearrangement. This gives rise to a primary amine this gives rise to a primary amine plus of course the other compounds are this from potassium hydroxide 2 kbr plus k2co3 plus 2h2o this is the overall equation this is the balanced equation but anyway the more important thing is these two are very important components of the reaction and this is the most important product of the reaction even though the other products like uh, carbon dioxide and many of these things are being obtained those things are all okay but as far as this main starting material and the products are concerned, these two are important and this is the most important reagent in this reaction. This is known as Hoffman rearrangement. This rearrangement will, then the moment you see this, you can find out there is a rearrangement, the CO group gets cut off from the molecule and then this nitrogen NH2 gets directly attached to this. This is the part of the rearrangement and this reaction is known as Hoffman rearrangement. So, by definition, Hoffman rearrangement is a reaction of an amide, a primary amide on reaction with bromine under alkaline condition gets converted to an amine, a primary amine. So, this is known as, this involves a rearrangement and this rearrangement is referred as Hoffman rearrangement reaction. This is characteristic of primary amides. Now, Give an example. This itself can be taken to be an example. It, this need not be benzamide. This can be any other amide. As for example, acetamide can be taken. So, the product obtained here will be methylamine. Next amide C2H5CONH2 can be taken. The product obtained will be C2H5NH2. Like this, a number of examples can be given. So, one example, this itself can be taken to be an example. Now, the next part of the reaction is we will have to give the mechanism of this reaction. How will you describe the mechanism of this reaction? We will describe the, the mechanism of this reaction. Now, C6H5, I will write it as C6H5 to save some space to give rise to C6H5CONH2. This reacts with bromine in the presence of, this reacts with bromine in the presence of alkali. So, the bromine in the presence of alkali will give rise to, it behaves as an, this will, one hydrogen will get replaced here. So, you will get this is known as benzamide. This compound is known as benzamide. This as we have seen already, this is benzamide. This is one hydrogen alone gets replaced. This is bromobenzamide. That is actually instead of NH2 here, one hydrogen gets removed and then replaced by means of a bromine. Therefore, supposing it is acetamide, you call it as bromacetamide. This is referred as bromobenzamide. This bromobenzamide is obtained. That is as a first product is obtained. Now, this potassium hydroxide, excess potassium hydroxide is there. This hydrogen which is attached to the nitrogen is acidic. Therefore, it gets removed. That is actually minus H. Actually, it takes place, it is being removed in the form of a proton because that is the role of a base. A base 
the role of a base is always to abstract a proton. So, it abstracts this hydrogen in the form of a proton to give rise to C6H5. This is actually we are discussing the mechanism of this reaction N minus because hydrogen goes off as plus and leaving behind the two electrons here. So, we have this. Now, this loses, this is actually a negative ion, this is an anion. Therefore, there must always be a counter ion for this. The counter ion generally for this is simply somewhere written close to that is potassium ion. Now, this K and Br will be last. So, this is minus KBr, this K and then Br, this Br actually comes off as minus. So, that it gives rise to a compound known as, this compound is known as acyl nitrine or you can call it as benzoyl nitrine because this is phenyl group, this is benzoyl group. So, this is a nitrine intermediate is obtained. Again, all these things are intermediate, they are not final product, a nitrine intermediate. You have to remember is nitrine is an electrophile, is an electron deficient species. Therefore, this nitrine undergoes a rearrangement. Normally, rearrangement is indicated by means of an arrow with a small circle by the side of it. A small circle by the side of the arrow on the arrow will give rise to this group migrates actually. This is an electron deficient group. Therefore, this group actually migrates, the whole group migrates from this is attached to carbon, this migrates to nitrogen here. So, what will be the resulting structure? The resulting structure will be, I will write it in bigger letters, I will write it here in bigger letter C6H5NCO. What is this compound? Everybody knows this. This is known as phenyl isocyanate. This phenyl isocyanate on reaction with water will give rise to C6H5NH2 which is an amine and of course, carbon dioxide. So, this is the overall Hoffman rearrangement, this is the mechanism of this rearrangement. Amide, bromine replaces the hydrogen, then that hydrogen is being removed by means of a base to give rise to this compound. KBr is last giving rise to the most important intermediate in Hoffman rearrangement is what is known as a nitrine intermediate. This nitrine intermediate once it is formed, it undergoes a rearrangement. It is only from this nitrine intermediate, this undergoes a rearrangement and this rearrangement results in the formation of phenyl isocyanate which loses the molecule of water to give rise to, I mean adds on, does not lose the molecule of water, water first adds on so that hydrogen and water gets adds on, carbon CO becomes CO2 and this becomes the amine. So, the important point that we are finding here is the C6H5, between C6H5 and NH there is a CO, that CO is last and C6H5 and N are directly connected which involves the rearrangement. This is known as Hoffman rearrangement, the mechanism of which has been described in this.